Hi there. So we are doing a interesting hybrid Good Day Garden, Good Day Gourmet segment in honor of Thanksgiving. So I'm here with David Whitwam with Whitwam Organics. Good morning. Good morning. So we had been talking for the past couple of weeks or so about this lovely Florida cranberry that's been growing in our garden and we've been harvesting them. And, and for those folks who have missed this, this is actually just related to an okra. Is that correct? It's a, related to okra, uh, hibiscus, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually in the cotton family. And it's also related to chocolate, the cacao plant. And what's so interesting to me is I've managed to turn this into a Florida cranberry sauce and it looks just like cranberry sauce and it tastes just like cranberry sauce, but I'll, I'll let you be the judge of that. We're it gonna looks taste amazing. It. Um, if you want, you can give it a taste oh, if you're interested. Um, you posted this on social media this morning. I did, I put this on my over Facebook it. page and... Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, really quickly just to go through the ingredients very very simple i kind of wanted to play with it just like cranberries mm -hmm. since you told me that it was pretty similar to a cranberry and since we were kind of doing like a little florida theme i felt because it's a florida cranberry of course we have the florida cranberry but i also wanted to use some local stuff so this is florida orange juice this is some local tampa bay honey this is wildflower honey i can taste the honey you can taste it yeah it's good and then just your typical fall spices. So okay. this is uh, cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves. And then I added a little cardamom in there because I cardamom? like to cook with okay. that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just quickly, I wanted to show everyone how this is made. So you didn't add any uh, pectin? No. And what I found is there's actually a good amount of pectin in here. Oh, wow. So, you know, this is good for jams. I'd found some jam recipes. Uh, it, yeah, and you can see it thickens up really well. You don't need to add anything to it. I actually read this morning it can also be used as a substitute for rhubarb pie. I was thinking that because it's so, it's so, um, I don't know, it's just playing with the texture like and the red color and mm -hmm. it just, it plays really well like that. So what I did is I just basically on high heat added my orange juice and for kind of brevity's sake, I, I'm just going to start dumping without really measuring. But I had the orange juice, I had added a little bit of that local honey just a few tablespoons of that <laughs> i know you want to taste the honey mm -hmm. it's good and then some of the spices and those just go right in and then what i had done was with the cranberries is we had broken them down kind of like how you suggested and, and i'll have you kind of recap that mm -hmm. in just a little bit but i basically just chopped these calices and then they're just going to go right into that pot were, were these the ones that we had frozen the ones that I made with this were the frozen ones, but okay. these actually I, I cut up last night and mm -hmm. then I put in the fridge. So these were kind of like pre-chopped. Okay, so off of one plant, you probably won't have them all ripen at once. So we just wanted to make sure that you can freeze them. And uh, once you get enough, uh, we wanted to make sure that the texture was gonna be okay. And I guess it was successful. So yeah, it was perfect. Uh, really quickly, I feel like we should recap how to remove yes. the seed pods because we didn't use seed pods for this. We mm -hmm. just used kind of like the outer petal okay. and, and then the bottom. So how do you, show us how you do that, um, how you break it down. I mean, I kind of start peeling back like this. Mm -hmm. um, this is the seed pod. Um, if you've ever grown okra, you can really tell at this point that they're related. Yeah, you can this tell. looks like a baby okra. Yeah, right here. And you can actually use all of this, all the bottom stuff. So everything that's red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if you want to dry these out, this is uh, what you can use to plant for uh, next year. Cool. Yep. So the so seed these, pots. Yeah, these have the viable seeds in them. Fair warning, when you do peel, it gets a little red. So maybe you want to wear gloves or, you know, it does come off with a soap, mm -hmm. soap and water afterwards. Um, so basically, I just brought this to a boil. I kind of turned down the heat, let it cook maybe 15 minutes or so till it thickens. And then I put it in another bowl in the fridge, let it thicken some more. That was it? That was it. Really easy. Wow. So I'm going to give this a taste. I'm going to do this when I get home. We have a whole uh, freezer full. Mmm. It is like, just like Florida cranberry. This is amazing. Um, as always, recipe is going to be online. I'll send it back to you guys.